but I wouldn't sleep on this team either, uh, Nelvin and Sorcerer. Uh, yeah. I haven't really seen CT team much, but they're getting pretty far in this tournament. Yeah. They're playing well, man. As we go into game one. I know they're both good players, for sure. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty canon that Sheik and Diddy is going to be a yep. good team regardless. So, you probably right, won't sir. see too many gimps coming from the... The red team, but no, no, hopefully, so. uh, Matty G does a good job of not getting gimped with Cloud, man. Um, yeah, actually, I heard he's really good at doubles. Yeah, I played I played against him earlier, actually. We, we, we lost a set to them, mm -hmm. and he, he did a good job of, like, avoiding getting gimped. So. I think it's like he knows that everyone's going to be trying to gimp yeah. him, so he's always prepared, you yep. know? That's how I look at it. Getting that limit already. Oh, he probably, oh, he wouldn't have killed, but he could have hit uh, Diddy with a finishing touch right there, but now good, he's, he's good recognition not like to. Confirm. You want to wait till it's definitely going to kill, you yeah. know? I feel like it's better to hold on to Linda anyways half the time. Because in, in case you get a bad off stage, you know, yep. that would be... For the buffs, but he blows it right yeah, there. I feel it. like he could have used the finishing touch there. That's one oh, thing I don't see him do too often. And he he's going to SD up. that stock, man. Why did he do that? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I don't see him... Oh, and he's going to take his... Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is not looking good. Yeah, it, I mean, Sheik already lost his stock, so it's not too bad, but uh, it's not not the way you want to yeah. lose stocks. SD in, in a, in a friendly fire. Partner, yeah. <laughs> They're just not playing on sync right now. That's yeah. all it is. But I'm sure they'll make a, make a, you know, a comeback. It's also really trying to finish that Dayonetta off, but you don't really get Dayonetta that easy. Yeah. Bayo, man. <laughs> Sometimes Ooh, nice forward smash. Charger. Very good. So he's got the uh, limit again, down there. Oh, it's not gonna kill yet. Okay. And he's gonna kill. Nice so did he? Nice. Okay. And they they took the, they took the lead. It seemed like a rough start, but they they brought yeah. it right back. Cloud with his limit can take a st stock off Sheik with probably any one of the moves. Oh, as oh, we said, not a cross stage though. Yeah, yeah, that's not that too, that too far. That's too far. Back here. Took the banana. Oh, didn't, didn't help though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that bat with it. Coming out at a perfect time. Uh, they got the stage control right now. Both of them in the corner. They got to get out of this corner situation. There we go. Monkey flips over it. And they really are just maintaining the stage control right yep, now. Yeah, for sure. And it's a wrap for him. He's going to share that stock, though. Uh, I think that's actually a pretty good idea, man. <laughs> They're both at high percent. If yeah. they can get kill Bale or uh, Cloud right now, it's 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 a doable yeah. uh, situation. But oh, that's going to take his teammates' stock, and that is not good. Now it's with the Sheik. Oh, I mean, Sheik's definitely still able to do this, but... I mean, I don't think really he's going to be able to take four stocks. If it was just, like, three, maybe... I feel like two like players at low percent yeah. with a cloud, and not to mention, like, Matty G and Antarx aren't slouches. Yeah, so like they're not going to let him get an easy gimp or anything. Yeah. A grab, like... Just grabbing them is going to be rough. <laughs> oh. Oh! oh he's trying to combo that. And that would have killed, too. Yeah, the forge dash would have definitely killed. Right now, a finishing touch will kill. Um, I don't see them go for that too often. I feel like that's one of the... Uh, uh, he likes that one better, uh, actually. Okay. Yeah, like, I feel like that's one of the um, the better options for if you're teaming with Cloud. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that's part of what makes Cloud such a the good doubles touch. partner. Yeah. Because you can get kills at 60, you know, 55, Easier. 60%. Yeah. You know, if you, if you, you know, throw into the finishing touch and different things like that. Or but even just combo and Yeah. Right but I haven't seen them do that too much, so we'll see if... Uh, I mean, if, yeah, that's true. If they try to implement it throughout this this uh, next match. Yeah, he, he's mostly going for side D when he could go for finishing touch. Yeah. Now that's better in like singles because it's hard to hit finishing Exactly. Touch. So going into game two, uh, to the battlefield, they go. And here we go. Probably uh, not going to see an SD from Matty G again this match, hopefully anyway. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they cleaned up their, their act near the end of that. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you haven't played in a while, you, you get cold hands. Yep. So. Ooh. Going all the way out the 
back. Good grab there. I feel like Entarch, like, he doesn't uh, go off stage a lot with Veil as uh, Hazmat was earlier. Okay. And I feel like that is one of Veil's strengths, um, even though at times it doesn't seem like it. Mm -hmm. um, so I would like to see him, you know, implement that a little bit more in his game as far as going off stage, as well as just getting some of these combos, man. Like, you, you most of the time you're worried about Veil. Yep. Because you don't want to get killed early with some of these, you know, ridiculous combos that she has. But, but um, Untouched hasn't really shown us any of those. She's kind of just like using her, yeah, her, yeah. her oh. intimidation factor and and evasiveness as um, oh, he's gonna take his oh, partner nice. stock. Um, oh no, no. He took his partner it's kind of like a oh, and that's gonna oh, be that's stock too. He's using it to stock tank, which isn't bad. But I feel like you know optimizing the character is always important. So. Some yeah. of these combos come out, man. I think it will be a better idea for him. Yeah. For the most part, Entarch is really not a crazy Dayanetta. He's, he's more uh, conservative yeah. than most Dayanettas, I would say. And that that's weird coming from like someone who played Captain Falcon going all in, you know? Yep, for sure. And I think it has to do with just him getting the comfortableness. But he started the combo there, mm -hmm. and it was looking like he was trying to extend it, but just dropped it a little bit. Yeah. He's not very combo heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's playing pretty safe. He's being smart about, uh, you know, take not taking a lot of damage. It just goes for the neutral air there. Yeah. He's more like, uh, like you know, he gets his hits and then he, he backs off. Exactly. That's kind of his Dayanetta style. You don't usually see that. Yeah. Like the I feel like the first thing people do when they select Bayonet is they like start away. laving them combos. Yeah, man. they style on you. Got his teammate in the wish chips. Not gonna follow up there. Doing a lot of neutral airs, man. Well, it's pretty, it's pretty safe. Yeah. And tough to deal with, I would say. Oh, nice block. Oh, that's a yeah, stop. Yeah, for sure. Good using that side B to get out of trouble. And they're just putting a lot of pressure on the sheet. Yeah. Kind of running away from the ditty. And right now, this is, I mean, it's pretty close still. Oh. After that stock gone, it's like almost even. Pretty I much, mean, yeah. I know Entop's been doing a good job of holding on to stocks with Bale, but she is pretty light. So if you can get, you know, a little bit more percent on her, hit her with one of those up smashes or uh, from Diddy or, or forward smash, you might be in good shape. But Diddy cannot lose his stock, man. Got to hold on to it at least until uh, Bale is at, you know, somewhat of a high percent as well. Nice. Oh. Sheik taking a lot of damage. Not doing much to this Cloud. No. Who's on the last stop. Cloud is trying to play very, very Up safe. Not going to kill yet. That's, That's definitely going to kill. That's the stop. He's going to take it. I think he should. Oh, no. He oh definitely can't now. Oh, my goodness. He chased him down. He's like, sure. listen, we're going to follow you <laughs> all the way off this cliff, man. We're not going to let you up here. Yeah. You right? Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. oh my goodness. I, I felt like he was going to spike him. This is so yes. tough for Diddy, man. Yeah. Like most Diddy's, a lot, they're a lot more comfortable when they're able to get that banana out. And against 2v1, like, there's you not much the opportunity yeah. to get it out, man. You, you have no way to, like, get off of the, the get the pressure oh, off you. Oh, he might be you. dead. Yeah, yeah that's that's it. A lot. That was sick. Good catch. He read the only way he could recover. Get wrecked.